These vivid images from MRI brain scans have been captured by university researchers of their own brains. They're setting up a pilot program as part of the Dunedin study. Research manager Dr Sandhya Ramraka says the colourful images were just too good, so staff have displayed them there for everyone to enjoy. They are staff brains and we decided because you get these beautiful pictures we decided to use them as a feature for our walls in this brand new building. The study follows a group of over a thousand Dunedin children born in the early 70s. The imaging of staff members was part of their preparation to carry out their first MRIs of participants in the famous Life Study project. The images are not clinical scans and were captured for research purposes rather than diagnosing any potential conditions. These are, not, these are research scans, not clinical scans. However, each scan is um, read by a radiologist. So if, um, if there is any issue, they'd be alerted. The graphic colours and lines seen in the images represent the direction brain signals travel as they race around processing stimuli. Ramraka says the latest scans from members of the study group will now be used as part of the overall research programme. What we're going to do with uh, the scans that we've taken on our study members is link that to the data we have since they've, they were born, so 45 years of data, and we hope that that will tell us some ex exciting things about um, how early childhood adversity affects us later in life, about ageing, about a number of things. The images will remain at the centre to show study participants what their scans will look like. In Dunedin, for the South Today.